the start here will be full of impact. Yeah, well, the Sinbin Sunday was it was a weird one. Like Sinbin Sunday, that was one of the weirdest, but probably most um, exciting game I've been a part of. Hey, good to the crowd are egging them on. Sinbin's my middle name at the moment. It's the last, the last few years, isn't it? Obviously, the occasion semi-final footy against the Roosters at a packed new stadium um, in Moore Park, you know, it doesn't get much better than that. So uh, I remember having the mindset of that game that I knew it was going to be physical and it was going to be hard. Um, but, you know, I couldn't, couldn't have been keener, so. Have we saved the best South's got us underway. Sends Matt Lodge tearing back. There's Campbell Graham. I made the first tackle off the kickoff with Matt Lodge and actually, I actually fractured my collarbone and did my SC joint, so I knew I was going for a long day. It's on in the background. It's on. Oh, big jump. Big jump. A lot of tension built up. We played them the week before. All these things and just a massive game. It's been identified that a punch has been thrown. The week before that game was, um, you know, all the Sydney were the Obviously, the crowd booing, and you know, I sort of baited the crowd a bit in the media, and, and got that as a you know conversation, which took away from the pressure off me, and um, it sort of made it a bit funny. And um, but then you know, we got through the game, and I was the most calm on the field. Away to Walker, here's Mitchell, here's uh, Johnston, the first try for the try scoring freak. He's got 29 in the season now. The rivalry with the Roosters provides that energy and the sparks fly and oh, is that high? That's Burgess again. Tommy you've decided you want to close line a few people. No, I, I caught mine, I, I don't mind uh, my one. Oh, no, it's a high decided you want to take a few heads off. Obviously took a turn straight away. Oh life doesn't get any better for a Roosters fan. We go. 13 on 11. Can't tell you how long we're on the field for with 11 people. And I've been on both sides of the rivalry and you know, yeah, it's better on this side, I'll, I'll be honest. Over there, it's a bit more, um, you know, strict and uh, whatnot, and we get to display what we are and who we are as a foundation clubs, and it's what people show up for, and uh, definitely at Trellian, I mean Alliance. And Mitchell, what a trail. Mitchell scores! They've got a on the field, and they've got over! Well, the good players make the impossible possible. We just sort of showed the, I suppose, that Rabideau spirit and that Rabideau's character where we kept turning up for each other as players and as teammates and... Oh gee, look at these players out here. They are absolutely exhausted after the most drama-charged and thrilling half of football maybe of season 2022. And look at the crowd. I suppose from an exciting um, spectator's point of view, I no doubts that everyone, or well, hopefully everyone, enjoyed it. Go, boys! Go! We've got to start well at this, this half, get, it, get ourselves in the grind. We've got plenty of the changes. We've only used two through our middle forward, so um, we're going to be able to ro rotate that, and that'll be big back in. like an origin match, just, you know, the crowd goal for it, bringing that atmosphere. Maria Hargreaves goes in aggressively with Burgess. Alright, he basically slammed his head into the ground. He had the opportunity to reduce any force that had happened. Tom got um, high tackled and it was foul play and then I was actually sitting on the sideline had about six snake lollies um, and like two wraps before the game. I don't think I was going to get on. I think it was Jack, our trainer, was like, Cheech, you might, you might get on you. I got up, started warming up, head noise heavy, felt just thinking about the snakes that I ate and stuff. And then um, I, was, so I was warming up and usually like if I was to play, I'd wear my um, like budgies and stuff, but I was just wearing my normal undies. <laughs> and then we're warming up. And then um, Jack was like, bro, you're, you're about to go on. And then, um, so I ran in and I was like, oh, hold on, bro, I'll, I'll be back. 
<laughs> then I ran inside the change mirror and quickly chucked on my budgies and then like, they felt mad and then I was just like, yeah, I'm ready. It's cheek hand. Oh, cheek hand. Got the way from Lodge. And they drag him back. The try that I scored on Sin Bin Sunday, they don't come too often. And Laying my head on the ground, actually, my head was ringing, um, but I was more excited because it was, I suppose, the try that you know put us in in a big enough lead where it was going to be hard to track us down. And I think I played 20 minutes on the wing because Tane did two stints in the bin. I actually spent a bit of time with Victor Rudley in England camp and. You know, he's a great bloke and I got on with him really well and we can sort of laugh about it now and, and think uh, it was pretty silly. Yeah, I was proud because I didn't get sent off and I was like, out of seven sin bins, I was, you know, I stayed on the field. And... Walker, Taz, Dubbies, scores! Souths are in the week two, the Roosters see it To score that try and put the icing on the cake and then for Souths to capture that video of my dad in the crowd, I still watch it to this day and I've just I can't think he's enough for catcher in that moment. Well, next week is going to be special once again. This is the best opening weekend of finals probably ever. The football has been out of this world. Souths have knocked the Roosters out. We'll see the trend again next week. Full time, South Sydney 30, Roosters 14. With great satisfaction getting that win and knocking them out. So it's good. That was my first finals game too, and to happen like that, yeah, it's pretty buzzy. Yeah, there's been a lot of criticism whether they were sin bins or weren't, but it happened and we were a part of it and we got the win. So, like I said, go down in the history books. It was definitely one of the, the weirdest, but as I said, the most exciting games I've been a part of. Yeah, probably one of the best games I've ever been involved in, I'll, I'll be honest. Congratulations, second week of the semi-finals, how does that feel?